اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وفی آدن اس اصلنا علیہ مری الاکیم ما تذر و بن شین اتت علیہ اللہ جعالتو کا رمیم وفی اسمود اس قید الہم تمت و حتائین فاتو ان امر ربیم فاخذت ہم سائکت و ہم جنزرون فمستتاو من قیام و مکان منتصبین صدق اللہ العلی العظیم سیکنڈ ایر کلاس مائی لیکمر this lecture number is will be visible to you in the screen and you are watching the lecture number 13 lecture number 13 for second year class before start of the lecture I will say one point that about nephron about kidney because these are so crucial information in reference to your examination and for your future professional career therefore I will keep continue discussing nephron in lecture number 15 so don't forget to listen lecture number 15 because I will add further informations which are required to tell you like counter current multiplier and some uh, pressure filtration mechanism the selective reabsorption and you will see lecture number 15 mean revision of nephron will be there with some additional information so today I come with a topic to disease which are caused in the kidneys mean in the nephrons a disease area is more important when I was telling uh, uh, in the respiratory system also I told you that disease area uh, where the drug goes what is the half time of the drug that is also that is also important but not at your level because you will study the structure and the functions of the systems and different uh, anatomy morphology of the body of animals and the human body in this year and the second year and in MBBS you will go uh, to disease area in a better way some disease area is included in syllabus and uh, that names I will enter now today and this area uh, will be in the sense uh, important because you know that's stones you are listening the name uh, stones are cast in the kidneys stones are cast in the gallbladder stones are in the renal pelvis and several type of the stones and several infections caused by bacteria in the kidneys several infection infection actually caused by bacteria infection is not caused by the virus if you see here urethritis if you will see as what these are medical terminologies I will label this urethritis U R E T H R I T I S. Did you note one word? T I S I T I S because I will use this word in other terms as well. I am using another term. Urethritis, another polynephritis. Which word R I T I S? It means infection by the bacteria. Some alphabets you will add in the last, and these alphabets are. Uh, common alphabets which are add when the bacteria will add this is the indication that this is an infection mean disease is caused by the bacteria many bacterial infection uh, occur in the kidneys you should note that the bacteria who caused the respiratory tract, respiratory tract infection it cannot cause the infection in the kidneys even the bacteria who cause the infection at the upper respiratory tract infection they will not cause the infection at lower level therefore when doctor will ask you that I will judge it is a nose infection or lungs infection it is a tracheal infection or inner alveolar cell infection so he will use that antibiotic which will affect at upper respiratory tract infection even in the medical sciences some in some antibiotics will work in the renal area and some antibiotics will work in the respiratory tract area so all infections are not uh, treated by one medicine different type of antibiotics are used for different type of areas in the body therefore when you are medical representative and you are uh, briefing the doctors about your medicine and you have a bag so you will tell him uh, you will uh, you will show him your medicine product to the doctor and you will say this medicine is very useful in renal infection doctor will understand that I have to use this antibiotic uh, in the renal area in the nephrons area reason is that a nephritis polynephritis this is a also a question sir it should be kidneyitis because kidney is there to kidney disease kidneyitis no kidney consists of significant cells nephron no nephritis the polynephritis urethritis urethritis infection of urethra infection of urethra urethra you know from where it arises 
Yes, I have to tell you the tube. Okay, I inner part of the kidney helum helum opens into ureter ureter opens into urinary bladder urinary bladder opens into urethra and urethra infection is called urethritis u r e t h r i t i s ureth urethritis so two infection i told Writers word uh, alphabets and the last of these words are confirming us these are infections polynephritis pylonephritis it is written Polynephritis, but you keep pylonef pylonephritis, another cystitis, 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 cystitis actually involve the infection which is related with the urinary bladder. So I will use the word pylonephritis or polynephritis. You can use both words. Both words are being used in the medical sciences. The pylonephritis the infection of the nephron, the urethritis infection of the urethra, cystitis infection of the urinary bladder, urinary bladder in which the urine is stored for some time and you know urinary bladder is more important in the frog because uh, urinary bladder and cloaca that is, a, that is type of the rectum that is mostly attached with each other. The urinary bladder shows the evolution from simple animals to complex animals. Amphibia, reptiles and the mammals their evolution is very uh, keen to uh, study uh, scientists were keen to study their urinary bladder because urinary bladders of the, of these animals uh, told us uh, important uh, structures about the kidneys because the uh, urinary bladder was attached with digestive system in uh, lower animals so these were the discussions go to back to the bacteria which cause infections in the these are the bacteria who cause the infection in the urinary tract infection you know when you suppose you are medical rep you are going to doctor just i told you when you will uh, you will go to doctor you will tell this type this type of antibiotic biotic this type of the product which i am selling will cause infection in the renal renal area in the kidney area the doctor will ask why why because why this uh, why this antibiotic will cure the infection in the renal area you will say because your antibiotic is controlling as chirichia coli this is a genus name species name proteus Vagaris, Neisseria gonorrhea, Treponema pallidum, spelling or little pallidium, pallidium, P A double L I D I U M. Okay, it's okay. Treponema pallidum. So these are the name of the bacteria who are causing the infection. You will say my product, my product is going to control as Chirichia coli, the Proteus vulgaris, Pro Proteus vulgaris, and it is going to Neisseria gonorrhea. Treponema palladium and pneumonia. So you can guide him. Such type of the bacteria, these are the bacteria who are causing infection, and my antibiotic will work in these. So, three infections I told you today one was the urethritis, urethritis, polynephritis, and one more point I wanted to show little slides because these are very important. Pylonephritis or polynephritis is infection of the kidney and this kidney infection is cured by antibiotic only, not antiviral drug like coronavirus. Reason is that because when you are going to cure the bacteria, when you are going to cure the uh, disease caused by the bacteria, that will be cured by antibiotic. Go to next one. This is the slide which is very important I already told you the next one is a calcium oxalate is the main stone so when you are talking about the disease in the kidney the major question came into your mind sir in our family the in our family my friends have the stones so stone is a common word which is being used so the uh, need to learn the which type of the stone which is maximum in our body of course a lot of stones are uric acid some other chemical calcium stones are there calcium oxalates more than 70 percent or 70 percent stones in the renal system in excretory system calcium oxalate two words i am telling you calcium oxalate chemically ca plus two c2o4 minus two plus two minus two will cancel formula will become cac2o4 calcium oxalate plus 2 minus 2 will cancel positive radical negative radical will cancel calcium oxalate is a main stone and that is formed due to excess concentration of the calcium and due to excess concentration of oxalate
question is where the oxalate is found oxalate is found in the vegetables where the calcium ion is formed you are drinking milk you are taking the calcium uh, calcium including products and that are necessary for your health so sir we should not take calcium we should not eat the vegetable no we should eat so sir calcium may combine with oxalate it will form the stone and over kidneys over ureter over urinary bladder over renal pelvis will block by the stone no 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 so why how many people you think uh, are are preyed of the stones one out of ten even less than one out of fifty even many less people number all people are not maximum people are healthy nature cannot make you wrong so only abnormality is there that is another area and a discussion in which I will tell you two hormones I will name here because you will study the hormones as well parathormone calcitonin they were maintaining the calcium ion concentration you know parathormone was uh, bone and the blood balance was being controlled by these two hormones one parathormone one calcitonin they were working against each other they were antagonistic I will discuss when their abnormality is there the calcium ion increase or decrease when it increases this condition is called hypercalcemia H Y P E R C A L C E M I A hypercalcemia increased concentration of the calcium is called hypercalcemia and when you will eat vegetable more and oxalates will deposit in the blood more C2O4 minus 2 and oxalates will combine with calcium it means that you have to control one thing out of these two you can eat vegetables if your hormones are properly working you are young man the calcitonin parathormone properly working even oxalates are more how oxalates will combine with the calcium oxalates will combine with the calcium only when the calcium concentration is abnormal being calcitonin parathormone are not properly working therefore the best idea to uh, best idea we should eat and we should eat without fear and we should hormonal disorder we should disrupt we should uh, avoid and we should exercise and we should take the balanced diet not much vegetables not much calcium and not much um, uh, 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 any other thing excess of everything is bad because when calcium ion concentration will, will become more calcitonin parathormones start fighting with each other one will say I will not digest calcium bones uh, already have the calcium other will say no no I don't want calcium in the blood because muscles are calcium gates uh, I will tell you the muscle function in which calcium gates are there which will open and act in myosin two proteins will bind and the muscles will contract calcium ions we, we already have the calcium uh, ions in the muscle cell and calcium gates will open lot of calcium ions are already coming so we don't need to so nobody will will nobody will welcome calcium in the, your body so what will happen there? then calcium will start weeping then oxalate will come what is the problem mr calcium i have the problem no parathormone is taking me to the bone and no uh, calcitonin is taking me in the blood to the muscle cell he will say no problem we both brothers will combine calcium oxalate both combine that become harmful effect in our body because that is the stone that become the stone stone is treated by two major mechanism one is a surgery i think that is being uh, refused by doctors now these days that is that is that methodology is not being used currently because that is a chronic methodology to cure the stone currently the method which is used to cure the stone that is a lithotripsy lithotripsy watching lithotripsy yes it is used to remove the stone by the laser this is a laser extracorporeal shocks were given mean that x-rays is given from the outside it it cross the skin it goes to arteries it goes to even uh, it can cross the skin it goes to the area in which stones are present it will break the stones into pieces and then pieces definitely because they are small in size they can come out through urethra ureter urinary bladder they can come out of the body and that is easier to come out so therefore best method to remove the stone from the body is the lithotripsy in which you will use the laser techniques they will break the stones into small pieces and drinking of the water is another solution so my sons if you have any problem of little bit and you know stones are being formed in each individual little bit you know in, in each body almost why we are not uh, feeling stone reason is that stones are being coming out because that is small stone and just like small pieces therefore if you we are drinking water if we are drinking water too much, so therefore I was going to uh, Swat Cadet College, the Brigadier of, of Principal of and invited me in uh, one year back. So I was there. So I and Brigadier Sahib was traveling to, through uh, the Swat city. So there was the kidney hospital there on the way. So I asked a question to Sir. Sir, why kidney hospital is here in the Swat just before Swat Cadet College? So he told. Uh, 
uh, he, uh, he told he told me, uh, uh, Mr. Fan, uh, reason is that these people they uh, don't drink much water. So might be one of the reasons, but uh, might be other reason also because I was thinking why this hospital is not being formed in the city. It is formed in just closer in here in, in a village-like structure, in a village-like area. So they were telling these people are more victim of kidney patients. So might be due to some other reason, might be water may be contaminated. But one reason he was telling that they, these people don't drink much water. So plenty of the water drinking is also required to get rid of the stones from the body. We'll go back to another one, hyper calcemia hyperoxaluria i just told the concentration of the calcium becomes more in the body that is called hypercalcemia when oxalates concentration increase that is called hyperoxaluria so these are the stones definitely because they cast the stones they cast the stones c a u s e that is not visible here okay g we go back and i want to tell you something now these were the bacteria which were causing the infections we go back to kidney stones this was the point when the kidney have the stone the condition is called nephrolithiasis this is condition sir what was the pyelonephritis that was infection that was not the stone that was infection there's a difference between infection and the stone infection is polynephritis pyelonephritis cystitis cystitis infection itis infection urethritis infection of urethra urinary bladder cystitis cystitis is not the stone nephrolithiasis nephrolithiasis Nephroli, these term, term, term spellings you have to remember and I will tell you technique also how you will remember the spelling. Nephrolithiasis, nephrolithiasis, condition in which the stones are there in the body that is called nephrolithiasis, nephrolithiasis. We'll go back to the hyper, hyper calcium oxalate stone C2O4 minus 2. This was the formula I was talking about C2O4 minus 2 c2o4 minus 2 calcium ca plus 2 and when they both will combine when these both will combine they become calcium oxalate but never mean that only calcium oxalate is the stone sometime uric acid become more and uric acid become more it will it also comes a form of the stone such type of condition in which uric acid increased in the body uric acid how it is formed i did not uh, discuss much uric acid in uh, for the human being i discussed in the in the in the birds uh, i told the birds chief nitrogenous waste component because over chief nitrogenous waste component is the urea not the uric acid so why uric acid test we normally do why the uric acid excess amount will cause a little disease why uric acid is important how the uric acid is uric acid how the uric acid is formed just like the decomposition if you are going to know how the uric acid formed uric acid is formed in our body that the point just one point i will tell you decomposition of the dna extra dna extra rna which is formed that is not required by the body their decomposition is also necessary when they will decompose the wet that uric acid will decompose that will form uh, that dna rna extra dna extra rna and and nitrogenous molecule like ornithine which I did not teach you that is the part of the urea cycle that will change into uric acid less in amount not chief nitrogenous waste component the chief nitrogenous waste component always always urea not the uric acid the chief nitrogenous waste component in the birds in the birds chief nitrogenous waste component in the birds is the uric acid so hyperuricemia mean when the uric acid concentration is more in the body of course it will it will also crystallize it will occur in the form of the solid we go back to the condition the which i just extracorporeal shocks that what is required you need lithotripter is a machine which is used to spray the x-rays the x-rays will be there the large stones will be broken down and large stones in the small stones and after that now i will tell you the area in which the stones can occur i have to label this look here Look here, this is the one stone which is available in the front. You can see what is the name of the area in which it is present because I'm just teaching you the structure of the kidney in the first sessions. And this is which section? Just tell me it is this cross section, it is a longitudinal section. This is the longitudinal section, of course. This is a Y because when you are going to see the structure of the kidney, you have to cut the DNA by longitudinal way. So that is the stone area in the renal pelvis and another area, another area of the renal stone in the, this is also almost renal pelvis and area of the stones will be anywhere in the kidney. 
they may be in the urethra they may be in the they may be in the in the urinary bladder they may be in the different uh, they may be in the urethra they may be in the urinary bladder they may be in the ureth ureter so this is the stone which is in the ureter clear ji okay ji ureter clear renal pelvic stone renal pelvis cavity that was the only cavity in the kidney due to which the nephron is not the fun structural unit kid nephron is not the structural unit of the kidney reason because nephron present here nephron present here nephron is not present here here stone renal stone and last one of today which because i have to tell you the last point of today calicial stone just closer to this is the area here the papillary ducts are present here the papillary ducts are present and these papillary ducts which are present here which you are watching this is label uh, label labeling is there of course okay ji this calicial stones which are present in just closer to the medulla these stones are the parts present in the papillary ducts you know what are the papillary ducts the collecting duct open into papillary duct the papillary duct open into renal pelvis renal pelvis opening into ilium ilium open into ureter ureter opens into urinary bladder urinary bladder open into urethra urethra open into urethral orifice and urine goes outside thank you very much second year class and lecture number next lecture will come but i will tell you 15 lecture in the 15 lecture uh, i started with the conversation lecture number 15 is important because all informations i have given in the last sessions were being uh, revised revision will take place about the nephron and the function of the nephron i will repeat some informations and i will add some information specially counter current multiply thank you very much allah